Hi Collective, I am Rose Warrior One here with a message for y'all today. We're gonna go ahead and tap right in, see what the vibrations are, see what frequencies and energy is floating around so we can anchor down a beautiful message of insight as well as direction. This could be spiritual, this could also be in the physical. It depends on what is being guided to be shared today. So may we be guided to the truth and to what the collective needs, all signs today, divine, feminine, or masculine, take what resonates. We have eyes of love. It says, focus your eyes on loving actions and your lips on loving words. You could be struggling with aggression, anger, or sadness, or despair. These could be more lower vibrations that you are transmuting. So you are being guided to change vision, change perspective, change even the steps and the way that you've been getting there or the way that you've been working or processing here. It says focus your eyes on loving actions. Focus on the good. Focus on higher levels, higher thinking, higher being. We had another card slipping out that was flipped over. It says rejuvenation. Take time to rest and recharge your batteries. There is definitely something about a lot of negative situations you have underwent, innerwent. <laughs> You could have been very overstimulated and you are being called to take time to rest and recharge. There's something about renewing your spirit, renewing your aura. You are somebody who could be an Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini. Just get this air element with the sky. You could have an affinity with the sky or sky spirits of some sort. It's just what I'm picking up. Yeah, the bottom of the deck here is Angel of Wisdom. Pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. Something's coming through about spiritual research. You could be someone who's researching this type of stuff here. I'm called to grab half of my personal deck and pull a message from here. And then we're going to tune right in. Remember, if this reading resonates, smash that like button as well as collective comment below. If you'd like to start a little chat, I'll try my best to keep up. And yeah, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the caption box. I could tap in. You are manifesting greatness, but I'm also seeing that you're manifesting an idea. Learning to believe in your ideas. In your instincts you're learning to trust your path and how you're led to specific opportunities selenite you could be working with selenite or being called to work with it here I'll show you my little heart piece that a family member gave to me here so selenite works with the moon's energy divine feminine frequency here selenite is also about it talks about cleansing the aura cleansing the chakra systems cleansing the crown chakra this is a beautiful divine high frequency stone here so there's something that you're manifesting in a very high frequency because you're learning how to transmute dark times you're mastering the elements here is what i'm seeing you're a healer you're definitely somebody who has an ability to work with lower and higher frequencies and you're able to teeter between the two and create balance, create even karmic balance here. What's at the top of the deck? Father wound, nurture yourself, build self-love. You could be healing a divine masculine wound here, a masculine wound. Something that could have affected your, your masculine essence of yourself too. Your decision making, your planning and action taking here. This could be all affected due to certain situations that you're healing at this time. But you're the healer. You're made to do this. You sign contracts to heal on a certain level here. With this selenite, I am getting that you are someone who operates at a very high frequency or a high level of thinking. You have a very, yeah, king of swords, queen of cups on the bottom. You have a very high level thinking process or an analytical way of approaching life with the king of swords very detached in an essence collective so yeah that's what we're picking up on here right ace of swords high level thinking 
Look at the equations coming out here. Look at all the unlimited knowledge you have collective. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. There's something about also the earth and fire element here. We've got Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and this is Capricorn and Virgo energy with Eight of Pentacles. You've been working on something collective, tapping into your knowledge. I'm hearing, what do I know? How can I apply and utilize my skills, my gifts, my natural born talent that I have? How can I utilize this and provide for myself, provide for my family, create a new way, create passion again in my heart? Someone has been focused on creating passion from within here you've been focused on research you've been focused on healing praying under the underneath the moon phases here you could be using the divine feminine energy here the moon the moon has a lot to do with this selenite's energy here so there's something about the phases of the moon here tapping into your creative side but doing this from a place of turning pain into power turning darkness into a higher vibrational light here that you can use a light that you recognize a light that you created from within with god here ten of swords at the bottom of the deck here there's something about a loss or getting over grief maybe because something ended anything really could have ended that could have definitely affected you in some way shape or form collective but I just see that you are so tapped into higher level thinking and higher level learning. We got Pisces here with the hangman. Through research and through connecting with your divine feminine energy. And I also see that you've been studying, studying about herbs, studying, studying certain spiritual books, really tapping in. I see a feather, a candle. So there's something about ancestors here angelic guides as well you're really learning about all this collective whoever i'm speaking to you're definitely tapping into your own higher frequency higher timeline but you're starting to meet other truths other inf informational like gateways vessels or doorways that can open you up to the unlimited potential that you have but this but this is coming because of some sort of truths that you are now vibrating at a level to unlock so with the hangman with this pisces energy you've unlocked something here with this ace of swords queen of wands as well i'm just seeing that you're unlocking passion but it's coming from a, a deep place of I'm just I'm just seeing two words survivor and warrior so you could be someone who's definitely a queen or king of wands a Leo Sagittarius Aries spirit or personality very vibrant but very strong very resilient look at that ace of wands there wanting to come out here there's just something going on here yeah high priestess Pisces super tapped in look at the moon there there's something about this moon, this crescent. You're connected. This is the divine feminine archetype here, connected to the moon, connected to the shadows, connected to the lights, connected to everything in, that is a veil, connected to uncovering each veil, connected to uncovering the truth for yourself cosmically here. But you're guided. You're not alone. You're in a co-creation process in this path. And that was at nine minutes on the clock. Queen of Wands. We got Page of Swords. More research, more study. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a very, very, very studious personality. Very practical. You definitely are giving Aquarius. You definitely are giving Virgo. And you're definitely giving Capricorn. Although those energies aren't coming up now. This is just what I'm getting. We got Ace of Pentacles here and king of pentacles you are learning how to manifest new opportunities you're learning how to hone in on what you really have capable as a resource as a gift here you're tapping into your intuitive processing here really allowing the flow of the universe to take way and lead you here let's get some more on this I'm going to pull from 
this universal tarot deck here. I did see Scorpio and Leo when I split the deck. So there's something about a transformation in your image or some type of change. Maybe this is how you view yourself or how even others will view you as well because your frequency is changing. So this is changing you at a cellular level is what I'm getting. We got two of swords here, Gemini energy. Let's see that crescent moon coming up again. You could have a tattoo of a crescent moon. Look at that. There's two of them. Something about the moon, I'm telling you. Something about, should I go left? Should I go right? Should I create a new pathway here? The two of swords is giving me Gemini energy because there's two pathways. There's two ways of viewing something that could evidently end up the same anyway. I just thought I saw the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, right? Right there. Pisces energy. There is something about you being protected, but you not feeling like you are. Look at that Aquarius coming through now. You could be at a crossroads when it comes to healing a trauma. And you could be feeling like there's not many people you can reach out to that would help or understand even. Something has been shifting. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus here coming through. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, so you are making decisions at this time and having to work very hard. Eight of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy here. You could be a Capricorn or Taurus too. There's just something about a shift occurring in your life. This could be for the better. For some of you, this could feel like it's for the worse. But you are working to see this for what it is. And what it is doing is reshaping your environment, reshaping your reality, reshaping a perspective for you that if you choose to grab onto, this energy is really allowing you to evolve. But sometimes evolution feels hot under pressure. So you are evolving. I see this evolution here. It's almost like it doesn't matter if you made a, a, a decision or a mistake or something in the past here that has led you towards what you may feel is a rut, a stagnant flow of energy, being stuck, any of that energy here. You have seen things differently. You're able to pull in. You could definitely be a Pisces, by the way. You're able to pull in from those voids of imagination success abundance here you're pulling in from crazy amounts of abundance in higher realms because you're tapping into this from within ten of pentacles is Taurus energy as well as Capricorn and Virgo ten of cups you have ten 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 in your reading a lot of you are going through major cycles closing. You could be 30 years old or something about 10, 10, 10. Wow. Seven of Wands I saw at the bottom of the deck here too, wanting to come out. There could be something about protecting your energy at this time while you're making a, a very specific decision or a very specific transformation and a choice you've accepted already to make this transformation here you're protecting your energy you're being called to here number 14 got Sagittarius with temperance you've been alchemizing and harmonizing certain energies around you whether they whether it be negative whether it be positive you're learning how to work with the flow here and create abundance and create emotional fulfillment no matter what's brought your way this is very powerful energy. Whoever I have tapped into today, I just want to say I'm very proud of you for working towards mastery of your crafts, of your skills and abilities here, regardless of how far and long it may, has, it may have taken here with the Page of Swords. I'm just getting that you may not have had all the resources to study or all the resources to land in your lap in the way that would have benefited you best but you still made use of what you had 
and you made use of what you knew at the time and you have learned you have learned to alchemize every situation into something better because you choose growth you true you choose the higher route the higher path energy on that spirit got three of swords you chose the higher path because you know what it looks like to to be in the path of grief and the path of suffering and the path of healing through dark situations or situations where people leave or situations where people really take or try to take all the energy you have three of swords is a heartbreak you know what that feels like knight of swords you know what it feels like for people to run out on you or to be impulsive this is giving me knight of swords and reversal energy here Three of Swords and Knight of Swords or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could definitely be unlocking and awakening your mind because you're literally leveling up after feeling the pain, after understanding what those dark days and dark situations taught you here. One more, Spirit. We got three more. Seven of Swords here, same energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Remember that moon? You always seem to intuitively know when things are analytically not looking correct or not looking like they're in flow here because you're constantly in your head. You've, you've been used to having to be this way here just to protect yourself, just to analyze the room at all times. But now that you're realizing you've got to let go with the two of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You've got to create a future that's great for yourself here. I see some type of an ambulance or some type of a medical truck here in this painting. Actually, it came across as one, but this could be just a normal car talking about travel because it's got a surfboard here. You could be contemplating about moving, contemplating about leaving the situation that you're in at this time. I'm getting this energy of someone saying, well, I can run out the way people have ran out on me or the way so-and-so has ran out on me. Well, collective, you are vibrating in this Libra and Taurus energy here with the Empress. You are healing so deeply that you are pulling in new doorways that are going to open up for you. Because if your heart truly desires to leave, if your heart truly desires to move on and move forward, and that's for your highest good, look at that, the moon coming out again here, then you're going to connect to that frequency, that timeline here. Let's pull one angel card on that before we end this read. I really hope that this has been able to provide some type of insight for you. I just felt the call to hop on today. Whoa. Archangel Cameo, embrace healthy relationships. Exactly. As you're moving forward, you're going to be embracing healthy relationships because you're learning how to heal. You're learning how to hop on that ride that even though it ebbs and flows and goes down a tunnel, I'm just seeing like a roller coaster, right? It goes down a tunnel and you don't see anything and then it jerks you to the left and then it's quick and it goes up right here. Even though you're in this life of consistently maneuvering and having to be flexible and agile with every situation, don't lose that heart you have, the golden heart that allows you to embrace connections and to embrace beautiful people in your life. Because anyone who's brought into your life is brought into your life for a reason, to teach you something, to help you with something here. So it says embrace healthy relationships and know that you deserve them here. You're healing your heart and you're healing your root chakra at this time. Exactly. Release. It says, let go and focus on what is positive and uplifting. So this whole reading was about releasing what no longer serves you. And this has to deal with your communication level or your com how much you allow people to connect to your energy or your frequency here. You are to release and cut the cords, cut the bonds here, cut any energetic connection people have with you by calling your energy back and release. It says, let go and focus focus on what you want out of life healthy relationships a healthy perspective upon yourself a healthy self-esteem a healthy income a healthy balance 
bottom of the deck here chosen make a difference in people's lives like i said in the beginning of this reading i was sensing someone who is a leader you are a leader this is why you've had such a difficult path because you do have intuition and it does tell you where to move and that is why people won't always understand where you're going because they're not coming with you very few people will be allowed to come with you here and we never know who those people are until they are revealed not just after time but by energy and frequency you'll just understand who is your soul tribe soul tribe coming through seven of cups i see a couple of new opportunities coming in page of rods communication is coming in here this could be an email expect an email a voicemail a text message here about a new opportunity but you will have a chance to say no say yes Spirit says this might be a no, though. You might not take this opportunity because you know your worth is what I'm getting. Scorpio energy with the tower. Or you could be hearing about some information here and just feeling like you want to not have anything to do with it here. Look, we got the moon coming out again and we've got two of swords coming out again. But the moon is right here. Two of swords and the empress at the bottom of the deck here. There's something about things coming to an end, but you're getting an opportunity through this process because spirit wants you to evolve the mind, the body, and the spirit at this time. You are also healing deeply on a level that only a leader, another leader that comes into your reality will understand the type of healing you have underwent here and the type of inner healing that you are always in constant motion with. I just heard something about choosing carefully or choosing wisely at this time. That's your message today, Collective. I hope this blesses you. If you'd like another, just comment down below. Much love to you always. Peace.